Here I'm working on the treadle pedal of a treadle sewing machine. So let me give you a quiz. What do you think the first thing anybody who looks at this thing is going to look at? You're right. The treadle pedal. It's right out there in the front. This is a treadle sewing machine. They're going to look right down at the treadle pedal. So I got to make sure that I get this thing right. And getting it right turned out to be a lot of fun because this thing, I'm no mathematician, but this thing has at least 10,000 surfaces that have to be sanded. So I better knock off the chit chat and get to work. What I'm doing here is uh, rigging up tie ropes to hang this thing up so I can paint it. I got one on the top and one on the bottom. That way I can I can flip it and get a better even coat. When I'm done with one side, I can flip it over and do the other. I got the balance wheel off and I wanted to show it to you. I thought I was going to have a bimetal corrosion problem here because uh, this, before I cleaned it up some, it kind of looked like it was uh, something other than steel. But anyway, how this thing works is it's got a bearing surface here that's like a, a brake disc or brake drum or a clutch plate. It's a little friction plate right here. The balance wheel has the corresponding surface around here. The balance wheel goes on. Very nice fit, no wobble. Must be within a half a thousandths. Then it's got this spacer with a little pin in it that goes into a slot. And then it's got this knurled knob right here. And interesting, righty tat tidy lefty loosey doesn't apply. It's it's got uh, reverse threads, lefty tidy. Now the the this elegant system here is to uh, clutch the balance wheel here. <clears throat> See if if this is if, if this is loosened, then the balance wheel will spin, and you can operate your bobbin. This is the bobbin. Your bobbin winder, or this is the bobbin winder. Uh, so if you want to if you want to do your bobbin winder then you disengage this uh, knurled knob and the treadle will work but the mechanism for the sewing machine doesn't work. So let's tighten this knurled knob down some. Now you can see the sewing machine working. And it's supposed to work uh, backwards like this. Okay. Um, Next thing I want to tell you is, is I got, um, I've come to a decision on what I'm going to do with this balance wheel. It wasn't chrome plated. I'm going to leave all this decoration and everything alone and the paint job and all that alone. But this balance wheel was painted black. Even the outside here was all painted black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape, uh, scrape it down, sand it, and paint it black. Uh, so I'll just be returning it to its original state. I think the, <clears throat> I think the decision to, uh, to finish that push rod 
turned out to be the right one. I know it wasn't painted because when I <clears throat> when I cleaned it up, it didn't have paint on it. It was just covered in oil. But I think it really uh, adds a nice contract contrast. Got it all. Uh, I got the entire base put back together. I'm real satisfied with it. It went right. Uh, it went right back together. No strip bolts. Everything adjusted out well. Absolutely no noise. Zero noise. Hear that? So, let's, uh, we got the base finished. Let's uh, start putting the, uh, putting the cabinet back together. The hinges were nickel plated and of course that had all worn off. So I cleaned them up and painted them, painted the screws too. They don't look too bad. As a matter of fact, I think they look pretty good. Screw this last screw in. See if she closes. probably remember when I uh, I finished this work surface I uh, I just left the bottom of the work surface uh, untouched uh, but I said I might put some uh, shellac or varnish on it what I'm doing here is putting shellac on it now the deal with shellac is Makes a real good finish and it dries super quick. They say you can put a second coat on in about 30 minutes. It's uh, real nice stuff to work with, but it's not as uh, not as durable as varnish. But underneath here, it's not going to uh, you know it's not it's not going to be affected by much of anything. I mean this uh, this bottom here has been sitting here for over a hundred years and it's uh, still in perfect shape. So anyway I'll do this and then we'll put this on a stand and see what she looks like. I want to show you the dra uh, drawers. I just got the hardware back on the drawers. Those uh, little knobs there, they actually look like they're new. But those were nickel coated 
right on steel. And of course the nickel coating was all gone. So I was able to uh, clean them up and paint them with some special paint. And I mean, not special paint, I just used uh, a color called Hammered Rust-Oleum. Anyway, it came out with a real nice little metallic finish and I think it turned out pretty well. Okay, let's uh, let's flip that flip that top over and put it on the stand and see what she looks like. Okay, here she is. All the repairs are done. I still got you know I still got to finish the outside with a couple more coats of shellac. That's how this works. This little plate lifts up. This lifts up like this. This goes down. Bam, you got a sewing machine. Okay, I'll uh, give you one more uh, one more close up and this project be done. Well, we had it completely taken apart. Every single nut, bolt, screw, all the joints, all the mechanisms. We made a lot of repairs. And a lot of things we didn't have to fix because they weren't broken. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this project. And now let's take a look at next week's project. Next week we have another restoration project. This is an old birdhouse, a bird feeder. You know, looking at it, you see the bottom's missing and the little, uh, it's basically coming apart. And you might think, well, what this birdhouse needs is a new birdhouse. Well, it's not that easy. This thing has sentimental value for the uh, person that owns it. Um, been in the, it was uh, built by a loved one who liked to sit and watch the birds feed. And anyway, it's, uh, it's got sentimental value. And so my intention is to repair it using as much of the old wood as possible and attempt to make it as uh, much like the original as possible. Okay, uh, so that's it for another edition of Memphis Monday and get excited for next week.